Hi everyone, welcome to the Swift Arcade. I'm your host, Jonathan Rasmussen. Have you ever been on a project and been asked to stop emojis from being entering into a text view? Like how would we actually stop someone from coming in and entering these maybe invalid characters for our particular app? If you've ever faced or been asked to create an emoji blocker, come on in and I'll show you how to add one to a UI text view. Okay, so what we have here is a plain old view controller with a label, an error label, a button, and a UI text view in the middle. And I was on a project once where for this particular banking application, they didn't want any emojis being sent as part of the transaction. It just messed up the back end, the interact processing couldn't handle it, so we need to filter out emojis from our memo in our text field. So how can we do it? Well, this here is a UI text view, and it has a delegate method in there called should change text in. Now, this is a super handy callback because it's in here that we can add logic to filter out illegal characters. For example, instead of simply returning true here, which basically means I'm going to let all characters in, what you can do is write a function that basically checks to see whether or not the input coming in only contains valid characters. So what's an example of a valid character? Well, in our case here, it's just accepting lowercase ASCII, uppercase ASCII, along with a few special characters, a carriage return, but nothing else. So we can define that as a string called valid characters, and then look at this really cool method on character set. You can create character set, call inverted on it, and it will go into all of the character set that's allowed, take the inversion of this, and basically return all the characters that aren't allowed. In other words, an invalid set. Now that's really handy because what we can do then is check the text that's currently in our text view, go range of characters on it against our invalid set, and this will tell us whether or not in there we found or returned a string where the first character from the given character set is found within the given range of options. What that really means is it will take our invalid character set, apply it against the text, and tell us whether there's any invalid characters in there. So if we do that, this is great because now when we run the application, we can tap on a text view, bring up the keyboard, start typing characters, but as soon as someone goes to add the emoji, boom, we detect that and we display this error message, invalid character emoji blocked. Now blocking the characters as they type them in from the keyboard is a great way to start blocking emojis but wouldn't it be nice if they couldn't even enter them in the first place? Well, we can do that too. We can take away the ability to enter emojis from the keyboard by setting the keyboard type to something that doesn't allow emojis, something like ASCII capable. If we run the app now, we'll see that when they bring up the keyboard, the ability to add emojis isn't even there. It's been removed. So yet an even better way to prevent emojis from coming into your text view in the first place. Now I know what you're thinking, Jonathan, this is well and good, but what if they actually try to go and copy some paste emojis in? Can we possibly stop that? Well, it turns out we can. This function, this callback in the delegate, it gets triggered even for copy paste. So we're still applying the same valid character check even for copy and pasted code. Can't even get it in there through that. And that my friends, in a nutshell, is how we block emojis on a UI text view. If you'd like to see a text version of everything we've done here today, feel free to head over to my website and near the bottom under UI kit, I've got a text view section there, which has an emoji blocker and you see all the text code for everything we covered here today. Well, there you have it folks, a simple example on how to block emojis or any other invalid text as it comes into your UI text view. If you've got other tips or tricks you'd like to see, drop a comment below, let me know what you're working on, what kind of problems are you facing, and maybe we can tackle them together. Anyways, hope you found that useful. Do come back, do hit like, do hit subscribe, and we'll continue this iOS journey together. All right, have a great weekend, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.